Hello, 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 everybody. It is Deltra, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem 9 Maniac Mode playthrough. So, it's been so long that I just can't remember what we did on the last part. Obviously, chapter 15. But it's gonna take me a second to remember where we're at in the story. Now, I do believe that we just took out Miriam, the boss of this chapter, and we were figuring out what exactly was going on with them. There's supposed to be these bandits, but it was kind of seeming like maybe that wasn't the case. Now, the reason we're actually back here on chapter 15 is because I <laughs> forgot the single most important item that you can find on this map. The boots. Um, if you're wondering where they are, they're exactly where Volk is standing. There's a section right around here-ish. Any of these tiles will do. But obviously I can't go on without these because they are the best stat booster, period, because the movement is the best stat. Now, normally you would just give these to Marcia and watch the whole entire world burn, but because somebody had requested Braum, I think that he would probably not necessarily make the best use of them, but he would see the most substantial improvement in terms of being a usable unit who does things occasionally, so I think I'm going to dump them on him. And also, while I'm here, I may as well just show this, because there's a different conversation if you go here with Soren. For whatever reason. No particular reason. I couldn't tell you why. I mean, I could tell you why, but that would be a spoiler. Wow. Are you lost, young one? What are you doing in this place? What are you doing here? Are you with the subhumans? Yeah, filthy subhuman- God damn, Soren. Chill, chill, chill. Wait, did you just pop out of this? <laughs> That's a pretty good point. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I made my house here. What? What? Hmm, it seems I have made an error. What are you talking about? You're not... I was wrong. It's nothing. I have no use for you. Oh, uh, alright then. Well, that was weird. Hold. What now? It would be a shame to see you go home empty-handed. I will give you this as a memento. Now, in exchange, I ask you to treat our meeting as a dream and let it fade from your memory. And now, I bid thee farewell! So he gives you the vague cutty. But he does not join you, and he just runs off to the desert, presumably to sit under a rock somewhere. Perhaps find some nice trees for some shade. I gotta imagine it's really hot living out here. Speaking of, it's like, oh, it's like 90 degrees again, but I guess I shouldn't complain. One of you guys made a comment that, like, you were doing football practice in 105 degree weather. Yeah, two words. Fuck that. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Won't do it. I used to do uh, baseball practice. And that was pretty bad, but it was it was never like 105 degrees. It doesn't really get hot like that where I live. Occasionally it does. Occasionally it does, but not like that, man. <laughs> no thank you. So I think that is everything that I have to do here. Obviously I can't take that because, uh, well, I have to recruit Stefan. So I'll just meet you guys at the start of the next chapter, I guess. And we are back. For chapter 16. The Atonement. Now that sounds like some serious shit right there. The Atonement, huh? I took a second to kind of refresh myself on what was going on in the story, and just like that, Rayson and Oliver is now a thing. I ship it. What is this? Who are you? What have you done with Nesala? Oh, ooh, mmm, so good. This is something everyone should see. There can be no doubt. I gaze upon the last living wonder of the Serenus royalty. Those golden locks, witness how they gather in the morning sun and multiply in its brilliance. Good god, dude. Chill. You're at about an 11, I need you to take it down to about an 8. My word. The gentle luster of those argent wings, manifest proof of royalty as sure as I am alive. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. A true work of art, wrought in flesh and feather. All this beauty, mine. The fortune I paid the Raven King seems like a pittance compared to this treasure. What? Nesala sold me to you? I'm gonna kill that. <laughs> I can't, that would piss me off so much. Racin, racin, racin. Poor guy. So Oliver's a freak, if you haven't noticed. Um, he's like ultra obsessed with beauty. I think that's that's essentially his character. He's just. I think he's insane, to be perfectly honest. I actually think that he's legitimately insane. Not, like, in a quirky way, not, like, he just does, like, really weird things, but he has a perfectly good reason. No, I think he's actually, honest to God, crazy. And that's pretty neat. In terms of, like, making a character, I suppose. Oh, ho, 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 you are exquisite even in rage! Now, if you behave yourself, I'll grant you a life of luxury. 
Polly want a cracker? Ow, my nose! My beautiful nose! Bishop Oliver, you ain't freak, you'll pay for that! No! You mustn't harm him! You mustn't ruffle a single feather on those gorgeous wings! This is getting kind of weird. What's going on here? <laughs> my beauty, you mustn't be frightened. If I'm racing, I'd sock him again, to be honest with you. In time, you will come to see how kind and charitable a master I can be. This is madness. Oh, so, so frightening. How delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> Weird. But I fear that we must now be separated for a short while. Loyal servants attend my words. You must not raise a hand to this one. Prepare his meals with care and do not disturb his rest. I would not see his countenance marred by displeasure. Herons, you see, are such delicate things. Yeah, the heron that just beat your ass. And then, at the proper time, yes, the proper time, when will it be? I say to you, those haughty senators and their ilk have licked down their noses at me for the last time. I shall show them all. Ooh, but I must have a grand stage. One where none can fail to see me. Good God. Our, this, see what I'm saying? He's actually insane. He's legit crazy. The Serenus Royals are creatures of legend, and when I arrive with one at my side, I can hardly wait to see Duke Goddess's face. Oh, <laughs> real knee slapper that one. Nice Sally, you wretch. Curse your eyes! How dare you do this to me? Well, so that's what happened to Race, and I guess he's done. Unfortunate, but that's how these things go sometimes. Swap back to Ike and his crew for a bit. I brought him. Well done, Ike. I just see that you are well rewarded. Where's the usual entourage? I see only two of your holy guard. Oh, there was some sort of disturbance. I think they're clearing away the rabble. But, on to business. Is that one there, the ringleader of the thieves? Why, he's nothing but a child, said Sanaki, the ten-year-old. <laughs> Has he offered up any defense for his deplorable actions? We are no thieves. We're trying to free the lagoons that these filthy aristocrats hold in captivity. What manner of absurd fairy tale is this? In the year Begnion 624, Apostle M Oh my gosh. Misaha? Apostle Misaha, my honored grandmother, emancipated every last Lagoose slave. In accordance with her law, today there is not a single slave to be found in all of the Begnion Empire. You lie. Countless noble houses even now keep Lagoose's servants or entertainment or worse. And the Senate? Those vast windbags grand ta- Whoa, wow, wow. Let's, let's slow our roll a little bit. It's been a while. <laughs> And the Senate? Those vast windbags grant tacit approval by doing nothing. That's enough. I told you to keep a cool head. But, but... Ike, why would you bring such an ill-mannered rogue to meet me? What is it that you're planning? If anyone's planning something, it's you. Really? And what could you possibly mean by that? Your last mission showed us the slave trade, and now you've put us in contact with an underground emancipation group? From the very beginning, I found this whole arrangement a little odd. You have more vassals than you can use, yet you hire us for these missions? Your motivations have me puzzled. Oh, I see. And have you solved this puzzle of yours? You want to expose the depravity of the inner circles of power. Ike is actually a lot sharper than people give him credit for. But, you don't want the general public to know that the majority of the Senate is involved in slavery. And to think I thought you were as untutored as a wild monkey. You're actually quite bright. Thank you, I think. <laughs> Was that a compliment? I didn't figure it out all by myself. I have companions whom I trust in my life. They helped me. Hey, hey, hold it. What in the world are you talking about? Would someone like to explain this to me? The Apostle is aware of the Lagoon slavery. On top of that, it appears she intends to do something about this problem. Are you serious? I am. However, whether you succeed or fail depends largely on what you do next. So be it. I think it's time you told us about the next job you have lined up for us. Please, no more deserts. Oh, don't worry. I've received reports that Bishop Oliver, the Duke of Taunus, is up to something suspicious. Duke Tana has a village near the near the woods of Ser Serenes. Oh my gosh, we're falling. We're failing. Go there and return with irrevocable proof of whatever it is he's doing. I'm sure it's something really fucked up. If you succeed in this, I promise to support your Princess Alincia with all the power at my command. We'll bring back whatever information it is you're looking for. Be ready for us. Ike doesn't like to wait, apparently. Ike, I'd like to report the results of our last battle. Earned 2,500, spent a lot, <laughs> current, almost nothing. Oh, but I got that white gem, so it basically doesn't matter. MVP, who else? Marcia. 
1,000 combat EXP. You know what the biggest shame of it all is? I had to redo that last map, obviously, and Jill got an empty level up. It made me sad. <laughs> I haven't seen an empty level up in so long. There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities to heal. Everybody preferred exceedingly well. That is all. By your leave, I will excuse myself. Can we just go over how Soren continues to call everybody a subhuman? Does it bother anybody else? It bothers me a little bit. Let us see. Braum has one with Boyd, but he's not getting any with Boyd. Oh, and also Boyd crit literally everything in the last map as well, so he's level 15 now. And that kind of sucks because I was trying to give more experience to better characters, but alas. Nothing I can do about that really, I guess. I can get supports with both Titania and Jill for Mist. Oh my gosh. Good lord. I guess I better do that. Info. Ahem. Miriam. Little one. How, how was it? Were you treated roughly? Did they attempt to punish you? No, it was nothing. And the Apostle? I thought she'd be some mean old hag, but she's just a kid. Really, she's even shorter than I am. Little one, you must lower your voice and watch your tongue. What? Why? Rest easy, Miriam. Everyone in this room is with me. The Apostle has no ears here. That is good. Miriam. Speaking ill, the Apostle here is considered treasonous. Keep it up and they'll kill you. Or at least threaten to. Yeah, I'd like to see them try to put down the Grail Mercenaries. Good luck! What? A little one. While we are here, please choose your words with more care than you have shown. I beg of you, please. I'm not trying to die. Oh, right. I understand. For the goose, you seem to know more about the court etiquette here than my fellow Bayork Tormod. <sighs> That's because cause I don't know much about any of this stuff. That's all. It is no matter, little one. Ike, right, the reason I'm familiar with the customs of the Begnion nobles is... I myself was once a slave. What? Oh, no. For generations, my family... Yeah, let's say served as slaves to one house. They were wealthy and powerful senators all. Wealthy and powerful senators all. There we go. As a child, I was raised never to question my station as a slave. From the day that I was born, the most grueling physical labor was as natural as breathing. I knew nothing else. To ensure we were liked by our masters, we were drilled with the etiquette of polite society until it became second nature. We were slaves. We did what we could to live as long as we could. The most important thing was not to incur the wrath of our masters. It displeased, if we displeased them, we were punished. If we were lucky, we were beaten. If we were unlucky... Miriam, that's enough. I'm sorry, Lord Ike. If a former slave like myself is present, all of you will be judged, scorned, and looked down upon. I came here to ask if you would take care of something for me. I would have you take care of the little one. Why would you say such a thing? You were born a Lagoo slave, and you're not allowed to be free. That's not right. That's why we promised each other we'd change all that. We made a promise. Lagoos like Bayorg would build homes and plant fields. Families live together in peace and freedom. That's the world we dreamed of. That's a dream that belongs to us as former Lagoos slaves. We don't need the help of another Bayork like you. What? Little one. Wah, wah. Does it really warrant that much concern? Huh? Since I first arrived here in Begnion, it's been something that's bothering me. If you're born into a noble house, you're a noble. If your parents are slaves, you're a slave. Do you think a person's worth is decided at the moment of their birth? Wow, this is really, really deep. Like, no, I'm not even messing... Like, that's actually, like, a one of those kind of questions that really makes you stop and think, you know what I mean? That's... I can't understand a country where that passes for normal. I just can't. Those don't sound like... Those don't sound like the words of someone working for Princess Crimea. Princesses are princesses because they're born into royal families, right? Are you going to deny that? No, you're right. Alencia, she is a princess. I don't think we've treated her with more respect than any other employer we've had, but... Huh, funny. We've addressed her as princess this entire time, but I've never really considered what it meant. From where I stand, I think you've been blessed. You were born a Bayork and raised in a country with lenient social structure. That's an enviable life. It's so hard, I... No matter how hard I try, I never fully understand your pain. But listen, I didn't treat Alincia any differently after I learned of her heritage. I'm not gonna think of you or treat you differently just because you used to be a slave. It's not gonna happen. You're... you. And I'm free to think of it that way if I want, right? 
Or Miriam, there's nothing anyone can do about your past, about the burdens that you carry. And I know I don't know everything that's going on, but you shouldn't be trying to push Tormod away. He's dedicated to you, and being with you is his choice. It's part of his freedom. I see now. I will go and find him. If meeting those in the temple is uncomfortable, I can go and bring him back. What do you think? No, I can do it. I have a good nose. Tracking the young one's scent while avoiding other Bayork is an easy task. I see. I... I want... I mean... Never mind. May our friendship be true and enduring. I share your sentiment. Our troop will have you for as long as you wish. That was surprisingly insightful for a one-star conversation, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Stefan, talk to me. What the... Uh, who are you? <laughs> How long have you been a member of my troop? Where did you come from? Oh, you know, just hanging out in the desert, man. I joined after the battle in the sands. My name is Stefan. I apologize for not introducing myself earlier. Uh, why are you here? In part, it's because I'm curious, but mostly it's the guiding hand of fate that has led me to you. Huh? In the desert, I watched the dance of your sword. You have a unique style, but it is incomplete, filled with hesitation. You have recently lost your teacher, no? Uh... <laughs> Luckily, your foundation is quite strong, which is why I can be of service. Your technique. How powerful will it be when perfected? I would like to know. Who are you? <laughs> Seriously. You can learn the dance of blades from me without knowing my history, can you not? What say you? Let your heart decide. Sure, let's study. I actually don't remember what this does at all. If anything. Wait, does he not join officially until I do this? What's what's the deal? We're, we're getting the recruitment theme. Now I'm a little bit confused. Uh, sure, I, I guess I understand. If you can help me perfect my technique, I will gladly accept an invitation to learn from you. Uh, what was your name? I don't think you mentioned that part. Then prepare yourself. Come, attack me with all your strength. Oh, and we get an occult scroll. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go ahead and hold on to that one. Yeah, I definitely think I want to hold on to that. Ike's getting up there. He's getting up there. I don't know if I want to give Ike an occult scroll or not. I haven't actually decided. Because there's an arguably, there's an arguably better option for him. I guess I'll see how I feel. What I'd really like is to get some Master Seals. I gotta start promoting some of my guys here. I guess we can knock out those supports. Uh, where is Mist? Mist has two supports. Good god, all this development. I'm sorry about the other day, Titania. I really did have a good time, even if I didn't look like it. Don't worry about it, Mist. You did awfully ser you did look awfully serious the whole time, but that just proves to me how much you needed the time off. And I did enjoy seeing the town. I'd never seen anything quite like it, but I kept thinking about all the chores waiting here. God. <laughs> She's literally like a 40-year-old trapped in a 15... Like a 12-year-old body, really, but apparently 15, so I'm gonna roll with 15, I guess. You're far too considerate of others, miss. You're always putting our needs before your own. You're so much like Elena in that regard. My mother. Yes, you and she are very much alike. But you know, miss, you are still young. You do not need to take on all the burdens of adulthood so soon. That's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> I worry about you. Seriously, it's kind of weird. Oh, stop. Titania, thank you. No, miss, thank you. Well, that was short, sweet, and to the point. I'm sure we'll hear more about her mother in the A support then, potentially. Kind of wish I would have did Ike and Titania, because... I don't know, I just feel like that would be more relevant to the backstory. <laughs> Maybe. Does that taste good, Jill? Mm, yeah, it really is good. Why? Because I made it. I'm glad you like it. I thought her cooking was terrible. Must be taking notes from Oscar or something. You made this? Yep. I call it Misk's Magical Meatloaf. Oh, that sounds horrible. I hate meatloaf. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just a personal preference or something. I, meatloaf just does not do it for me. It's chock full of stuff that's good for you, especially when you're sick. You look real sad and never eat, so I thought this would make you feel better. Maybe not getting an empty level up would make her feel better. I don't know. You worried about me? Why are you so nice to me? I'm a day in soldier. Stop. Please stop saying that. Why? It's true. Because it makes me feel bad, that's why. You're always saying, I'm a gay instructor. Everyone should hate me. Blah, blah, blah. I imagine that's what she sounds like when she's having this part of the conversation. You're not a bad person, Jill. I want to be your friend. And you really make it hard. But my friend? Dun, dun, dun. Apparently, Jill does not do well with friendship. Is that really it? I, I can't really do any other supports here. 
I mean, I could do Mordecai and Mist. I don't think Mist... Oh, what am I saying? Of course, Mist is already full up, so let's not do that. Boyd and Mist probably would have been a good choice, but fuck Boyd, so there's that. Tell me why Marcy is level 9. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, why is she this good? Why is she that good? Uh, let's go ahead and kick Mist up to level 8. I think that she is going to have the next, um, what's it called? The next Master Seal. I think she's got that unlocked. Because it really doesn't matter how good her stats are, it's just the promotion itself is what's good about it. Perfect level up. Magic and speed. And some other stats, but who really cares, right? Uh, let's kick Jill up to level 20, or not 22. I need to use 22 experience. Let's shake her up. Let's kick her up to level 13. There we go. And I also have that Spirit Dust. Should Soren snort it? We're gonna level up Jill. Yeah, I do want her on the Pegasus Band, so we'll leave her like that. And then go to Jill. 22 EXP. Let's go, Jill. Let's go. Speed. <laughs> this is not a very good Jill. Jill is good, I swear, but this is not a very good Jill. No, sir. Uh, we could kick Soren up. We could potentially kick Oscar up. He's gonna get a Master Seal, though, almost certainly. If I were to level up Oscar... Well, let's give one to Soren first. What's he got equipped right now? The Thief Man. That's perfect. Yeah, I'm not really worried about his magic. His magic is really quite good. Case in point. Good lord, Soren, that's a level up if I ever saw one. Didn't get speed, but he's going to be blowing stuff up. He's definitely going to be blowing stuff up with relative ease. I wish you were a little bit tankier, but my sword has eight defense, so I can't really complain, you know? Now, the question is, do I give it to Oscar? I may. I think I have enough for one more. Or should I? I should probably give it to Astrid. I can give two to Astrid. Should I give two to Astrid? I think I should give two to Astrid. Her base speed growth is pretty good, so... I'm kind of hoping that's going to carry me. But Forger knows she needs more strength, because, like, eight strength, man. Eight strength, man. Come on, now. Nine strength. There we go. There we go. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Uh, screw it. Let's go one more. Let's see a nice 10 strength to uh, round out this level here. Come on, boy. Ah, uh, but she got speed anyways. Which is a useful trait. Fun fact, speed is a good stat. I really hope I start rolling in Master Seals, because good lord, I need some. Because like, I could promote Zehar right away, and he would be good. He would be good right now if I promoted him. And he would never really fall off. He'd be a little bit worse than Stefan. Okay, he'd be a lot worse than Stefan, but he'd still be good, you know what I mean? Same thing with Mitch. She just needs to promote because her promotion is just good in general. Jill could stand for some more level ups, I think. Uh, Volk is doing all right. Volk is actually doing all right. I managed to get him a level up there, and I think he got strength again, which is good for me. Oscar really just... If he promotes, he's fine. The biggest problem with Oscar is that he's just Titania, but from the start of the game, if that makes sense. He's, he's just about as good as Titania was 10, 15 chapters ago. <laughs> Assuming I could promote him. Not that that's really a bad thing, but... He's just a little underwhelming, I guess. Anything else I really need to do? I guess item management. We don't really need the statue frag, I don't think. I mean, I could give it to Oscar, but... Nah, I'm just gonna sell it for the money. I don't know that I will need... Well, I do have a Master Seal. When did I get this? Huh. Well, I'm gonna sell that. Where is the White Gem? Let's sell that one as well. Guard. And I don't know if quite the skill Guard. I don't think Guard is a good skill. I don't remember it being a good skill, so I'm probably gonna sell that. Do I just want to promote Oscar? I... Shoot, man. I'll tell you what. I'll look at the next map, and if it looks like it would be useful to have him promoted, I'm gonna do it. Soren I could promote, but apparently he doesn't actually get any weapon rank from that, so why bother? And I don't really need the additional staff 
just yet. The additional staff user, I mean. Miss pretty much got that unlock, I think. I can sell the shine, because that's useless. In every sense of the word. Like, these are the stats on shine. 4 might, 75 hit, 6 wait. That's so bad. That's really, really bad. And it's extremely expensive, too, so... I forget if you can even forge shine in this game, to be honest. But if you could, it would take a lot of money, so it's really not worth it, ever. You know what? Let's just give it to Tormod. Just, why not? Right? I mean, why not? Fire is the heaviest, though, I think. But Tormod actually has strength. Speaking of Tormod, hold on. Alright, so here we go with Tormod. Now, Tormod is sort of... He's, like, in between... Uh, I can't even remember her name. She's just that boring. Uh, Ilyana and Sorin. There we go. She, he's like in between the two of them, sort of. He has decent strength. He's relatively strong. But as you can see there, the problem is that he starts as a level 7 mage at a point when most of your guys are starting to get ready to promote. Especially if you were playing the American version where you don't have to deal with that Maniac Mode uh, experience nerf. And you also get more bonus experience. And there's, there's basically... He, he's going to be very far behind most of the rest of your guys. Uh, in terms of gross, he has 50% HP, which is, again, it's not terrible for a mage. He has 20% strength growth, which is, I think, the highest, or the second highest for mages. I forget what Ileana had, to be perfectly honest. I know Ileana's kind of strong-ish. Yeah, Ileana's a little bit stronger. I'm looking at it right here. Uh, where was I? So he has 20 strength, 45 magic, 40% skill, 45% speed, 35% luck, 25% defense, and 45% resistance. So you can see he doesn't grow too terribly, but the problem is, again, he just starts at such a low level. At a point where you're really thinking about promoting your guys. You can see up there, though, he does have 7 movement. And that's because of his skill right here, Celerity, which increases your movement by 2 spaces. So he has that going for him automatically. He also starts with C and Fire, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, he has uh, E and Thunder, which is the best magic type, in my opinion, but... I don't know, I, I, I can see him being usable. If you're willing to take a little bit of time to get him up to par. Really, it's that 9 speed. That 9 speed hurts the most. Everything else is manageable, but that 9 speed really puts him on the back foot. I'm just gonna give him the Spirit Dust, because it's funny. Let's go ahead and use Tormod. And now we also have Miriam who is pretty darn good. Uh, he joins you at level 9. You can see his base stats right there are pretty out of this world. He's a solid unit all around, honestly. His biggest problem is that he has a Laguz, but he comes with the demi Ben, which means that you, just like in the previous chapter, he will always be transformed so long as he has the demi Ben equipped. You can see there that there are some minor penalties for that, but in this case, I think it would be worthwhile, in the majority of cases, to just leave that on him, if you were going to use him at any rate. Uh, as for Gross, he has 145 hit points. Wow, dude. I guess that makes sense. Look at this guy. 70% uh, strength. Again, no surprises there. 5% magic. 70% skill. 55% speed. 35% luck. 60% defense. And 45% resistance. Miriam, overall, not a bad unit to use. Especially if you're going to use a Laguz. He comes basically free and his stats are quite high. Uh... The thing is, at the end of the day, he still is a Laguz. On the other hand, you know, a 9-move unit like that who's basically free, you didn't have to train him or use any resources to get him this good, is nice to have. And going back to the whole armor thing, he basically outclasses them right out the gate just because he's so tanky, and he has a 60% defense growth, which I'm fairly certain is higher than any armor in this game. <sighs> Armors are just... It, it'll never be their day. It, it will never be their day. Now, where are the boots? Should be on Volk. Where's Volk? There we go. So let's go ahead and dump these onto... Braum. Is it one movement or two in this game? It's two. He needs it, though. He absolutely needs it. I really would rather to give it to anybody else, but this is the only way he can do anything. On the other hand, that does mean he'll have eight movement when he promotes, which is pretty decent. I think that puts him on par with... Uh... Cavaliers? <laughs> yeah, Cavaliers. I was gonna say Paladins, but nope, they have not in this game. What else do we need to do? I think we can use another Steel... <laughs> we can use another Steel Lance Forge. Tell me why Steels are the best Forges. 
And also, why can't I afford to forge something every single map? It's, it's kind of out of hand, I'm not gonna lie. Forge up the hit to like, I don't know, 85. Yeah, that should do it. Sure. It's evolved. Let's go ahead and make it blue. And there we go. Let's give the stomper to Marcia. 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 There we go. No, just give it to Marcia. Her hands are full. I don't care if her hands are full. Fine. Convoy. Whatever. Yeah, the forging in this game is very out of hand. It's very, very out of hand. But I will take it. It's kind of fun, but on the other hand, it just seems like... It seems like they overdid it. I feel like the forge should have been more expensive, or there should have been some kind of penalty for doing this, or really anything. It's just too easy to make a forge every single map. You can see that I haven't had a problem with it ever. The game hands you such a surplus of funds that... I don't know. It, it's like... Managing your resources and everything is part of Fire Emblem. I understand that, but it's... It's just really almost never done well. <laughs> I really never feel like I'm in the back, so to speak. I never really feel like I'm running low on resources, no matter what game it is. It just seems like... Uh, I don't know. I feel like it should be tighter. At least in this game, for sure. Look, I shouldn't be able to afford a new forge every single map. With maximum might, forge up the hit a little bit as well. You know, it's just it's too much. Now, I guess if you're going to forge magic, it's a little bit more of an issue, but just don't forge magic. Why would you forge magic? It's not a good investment. Let's see, so... Tormod snorted the dust. Do I need anything else here? Lego! Is this the place? Yes, it is. It's rather heavily guarded. Even so, I think a direct attack would be our best chance of gaining entrance. Halt! Who goes there? What are you doing? This villa is the property of Duke Tadus, Senator of the Empire. No trespassing! I am Mike of the Grail Mercenaries. Under orders from the Apostle, we've been charged with investigating the Duke. What? The Apostle sent you? W w wait here a moment. Ah! Runs away. All the guards are such cowards in this game, man. Alright, brother. We'll sneak around out here and see what we can see. Good idea. Leave it to us. If we get stopped, we can talk our way out of it. Alright, miss. Let's get going. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? What is it? I hear you lads claim to be here on the Apostle's business. We have a letter here from them. We have a letter here that bears her seal. Hmm, well, I see. It appears genuine. Very well. Am I in a position to ask what exactly I'm suspected of doing? We're here by the Apostle's leave. Do you honestly intend to make us discuss this private matter outside? Oh! No, no, of course not. Never! I would never insult. P please, come inside. Damn. Yeah. Sanagi really cares a lot of weight in these parts, huh? Oh! Slavery? Me! The Apostle would honestly accuse me of such an unfashionable thing as slaveholding! Oh ho! Do you claim no knowledge of such a thing? Why do you talk like that, by the way? I've shown you every nook of my mansion, every cranny. I've been most thorough, have I not? And you saw no trace, not a single sign of any lagoos here, did you? That is true. This accusation is absolutely ridiculous! To think that I, a bishop who serves only the Apostle's will, would do anything to violate our country's Emancipation Act. Be certain that you tell the Apostle everything. Tell her that Duke Thomas is upright and clean-handed. Well, uh, let's not, let's not go that far. I think we're, uh, jumping to conclusions here a little bit. There is not even a shadow of falsehood in my noble eyes. Look into them deeply, my boy. Gaze deeply into my soul. Tell me, Ike, what do you see? I, I don't like where this is going. Oh god, he gets closer too. <laughs> hmm, well, aren't they the prettiest shade of blue you've ever seen? Y yes, they're, they're, they're fine. They're fine, just back up. Uh, hey, stop that, back off. We have little choice, do we? I think it would be best if we left for the time being. Hey, Halt, you can't go in there. Huh? Ike. Missed, what is it? Ike, I saw him. In a room in the top floor of this building, I saw someone. I think he was one of the bird tribe. He looked like he was trying to jump out of a window, but he was forced away from it and back into the room. What? What, what is this? This child babbling about? Someone from the bird tribe? Can you describe him? Um, he had long hair. It was sparkling like gold. And his skin, it was so pale, almost translucent. Oh, and his wings, they were pure white. Is that accurate, Titania? 
It is. I saw him as well. That can only mean that there is a member of the Heron Clan in this place. According to books, only members of the Royal Heron family possess white wings. It appears that there is at least one room we have yet to see. What is it going to be, Duke Tonis? You can cooperate and show us this room that you somehow forgot, or... Guards! Kill them all! Don't let a single one escape! Now how would this even work? So the Apostle sent us... Okay, the Apostle sent us on this mission. She personally handpicks us. What, what would happen if we just wound up dead? Honest, what would actually happen? Do you think that she would just be like, Oh, okay, because there was no slavery there. They must have just tripped and fell on their own sword or something. I'm like, no, no, no! This is the worst plan I've ever seen. So, this is how you want to play it, eh? I thought it might come to this. Mercenaries, it is time. Let's go. Seriously. No, th this is the worst plan I've ever seen. And Oliver's gonna run away. Like a little bitch. No surprises there. Dev Dad, here's the sound of battle. Oh yeah, cool Dev Dad. You dare bring conflict into Dish at Oliver's home. My lance will make you pay for your impudence. Is that right? Alright, let's choose our units. We can bring 11. 11 of these suckers. We gotta bring both. Hmm. Man, the choices are so hard because there are so many units that people wanted to see and so many units that I would like to use. But certain characters really need to work more than others, I think. See, I want to bring Sword because he's very close to C rank. And he might be able to hit it. Considering that Elthunder gives two a pop instead of one. Mar er, Jill, not Marcy. I was going to say Marcy needs work. No, no, no. Uh, Boyd, you can see this one out. Let's, let's bring in Tormod. I'd probably be bringing him anyways to be... Oh, excuse me. To be honest, I'd bring him anyways. Uh, Oscar... He's really getting up there to promotion, but... You know what? What are the speeds of the guys in this map anyways, dude? So we're back at the base. I've decided I would like to promote Oscar. He's level 15. His stats are decent, but I feel like the promotion may push him over into being a good unit rather than just a pretty okay one. So here's to hoping. And now he's a nice paladin. I like how the horse gets upgraded as well. Nice touch. Do 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 do. -do. Those aren't the worst stats. So an interesting thing about promoting into a paladin class in this game is that you get to choose a side, not like a sidearm, but like an additional weapon type. So you can choose between swords, axes, or bows. The correct option is axes. <sighs> Should I do bows? There's one specific thing you can do if you choose bows. But Oscar would really, really like axes. Really, every paladin wants axes. They're just the best weapon type in this game, I've come to realize. There's really almost no reason to not be using an axe. Ever. <laughs> in a strange twist of fate, yeah, axes happen to be a really good weapon type. Go figure. Uh, yeah, axes. I'm sorry. Oh, there goes my controller. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. No! <laughs> That's the worst way I could have possibly started. So I was trying to shove Stefan. And that's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. So that was fun. I hope you all enjoyed. It's been real. And see you guys next time. Peace. No, not really. That was an embarrassing mistake to make. This is why we don't mash, I guess. Oh, I can't, why can't I shove Stefan? What the f- I Hmm, I need to rethink this then. Volk can do it. You have to be within two. Oh, I guess I should have used the statue frag after all. Because the issue is that there's no way to get in range of the sniper. That really sucks. <laughs> I need to rethink this. Okay, so all I did was I decided not to bring Zorin. Which kind of sucks. I would have liked to work on his uh, Thunder Rank a little bit more, but there's nothing I could really do about that. Because I really want that sniper dead as soon as possible. It's for the best. So instead I have brought along Mordecai. Who can smite right there. Since Volk actually weighs a lot more than Ike apparently. Go figure. He also weighs more than Boyd. Which I find very strange. I, I Basically I can smite um, Stefan. Which is what matters. 
Wait, wait, wait. Nefany can do it? Oh, that's Volk. I thought that was... I thought that was Mordecai. Nope, one more. So I can then smite with Brom. And there you go. Now I can kill this freaking sniper. Standing around looking all threatening. Well, I can do it most of the time. I don't want to use the bank, Gotti. I would rather just bank on a crit, to be honest. Yeah, let's do it. It's player phase, after all. Uh, if I do use the big Gotti, I definitely can't leave him on that because I don't want it to break because it's a really good weapon, you know? Here's where I'm kind of wishing I had some sort of forged sword. Well, he's going to crit anyways, or he's going to Astra, or do something. There's no way he survives. There's literally no chance. Yup, told you. Way to go, Stavon. That's how you make a first impression, my guy. So down goes the sniper. 13 experience. Well, Stefan is level 8, I suppose. Marcia is now free to go in. I wasn't really afraid of her to begin with. But, you know. Effective weaponry and whatnot. It's a hard habit to break. It certainly is. Uh, Jill is a little bit more sketch, but I should... Yeah, she should be fine, right? 13 speed. 15 speed. 16 speed. Yeah, she's fine. Actually, she gets doubled by the 16 speed, doesn't she? She does. Does that matter? I don't think it matters. Uh, no, it matters a little bit. It definitely matters a little bit. <laughs> so here's what we'll do. We'll do one of those. Move her here. And now she's safe. I don't care if this guy attacks her, because he doesn't double. Now, seeing as we've used Marcy as a bit of a shield there, we can move the rest of our weaker guys up. Somebody did tell me, yeah, you can hop between units, which I didn't realize. I don't know why I didn't figure that. I know I tried every button, but for, wh for whatever reason, it just didn't work. And then somebody said, oh, you just press X. And then magically, it's working now. So thank you for telling me that, because that's definitely a lot better. Yeah, I left the animations on, but it's fine. Stefan is not going to die. Now, he isn't as dodgy as he could be, considering that he has only five luck. But it's not something I'm really worried about, considering, you know, weapon triangle, hand axes, that kind of thing. That's a really nonchalant dodge. He's like, yeah, whatever, you missed. The Swordmasters were always kind of like that, though, I suppose. Now, I left the Iron Blade on because I'm not a good player. Uh, had I been a good player... I would have used literally any other weapon, but we connected regardless, so it's fine, I guess. Ike still suffers from a bit low skills, so... Yeah, probably not the best candidate for blades. So far, so good. Unfortunately, the rest of these guys are going to kill themselves on Stefan. I really would have rather avoided that, but the sniper had to go. Also, I'm using up a lot of the killing edge, which looks pretty cool in this game, I must say. And here comes victim number three. Yup, couldn't even hit me. Couldn't even hit me. Pathetic, man. Just lining him up and knocking him down. Knocking him down, man. He's not gonna hit, there's no way. Yeah, knew it, goodbye. I do like the Swordmaster crit. It's flashy and over the top and dumb, but it's awesome, so, you know, there's that. Now the rest of these fools are going to move in. Reinforcements already? Boy, it's turn two. Better calm down with that. Let's see. Can I get a kill for Volk? Do I want to get a kill for Volk? I want to get a kill for Braum. What am I saying? Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Now he's contributing. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. That's what I like to see. There we go, my dude. I'll make a good unit out of you yet. And they actually almost give a decent amount of experience since he's so far behind. It's nice. It's nice. Level isn't as big of a thing as you would think it would be in these kind of games, honestly. Uh, I could blow that guy back. I doubt that she can deal 20 damage. 14 speed to her. 14 speed. No, she can't. So if I use her, I'm forced to kind of... Well, maybe with Marcia. Can she deal 11 damage? That's a little more reasonable. 23 minus 15. No, she cannot. Okay, but if I use the... If I use the Stomper... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we do. Huh. Unfortunately, that means Devon won't be able to kill anything. And worse yet, I'm going to be using the Stomper on enemy phase, but what can you do? 
You see the things I do for you, Astrid? I'll make a good unit out of her. Yeah, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Astrid can be pretty good. She just takes a while. She just takes a while. Nothing wrong with that. Let's see. Tormod should be able to hurt this guy pretty badly. No. My god, dude. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. You can't be like that. Can she move five or six? She moved six, so we're actually good. We're totally fine. Maybe I killed this guy who was Stefan. Nah, sh it should be Jill. It should be Jill. Shoot, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Ike's just gonna move in. I will use the ward staff on Jill so that on the next turn she can actually handle the mages. And then we can get a pop in essentially. Obviously, I used it on whoever I used it before just for the experience. But Jill's actually gonna put it to use, so that's pretty good. And we get her another kill. Now, ideally, she'd be a bit higher leveled if you were playing this normally, but she's such a good unit. It really, it's kind of irrelevant. Should have been watching for this guy. He has an armor slayer. Hello? Yeah, because Braum is such a threatening unit, we really needed him to be. Oh no, I have goofed. I, I messed up. I think I can recover that, though, actually. Yeah, I totally can. I Should I just kill this guy? Honestly... Honestly, I don't think I should. Now, they have 17 and uh, 18. 17 and 18. No, that's fine. But if I left this guy alive with his 20, 17, 18, 20, that could potentially be a dead Stefan, which is not good. I don't like how I played this. I don't like how I played this. Not at all. I could just do this, and then I think it kind of doesn't matter, but... I didn't ward him, did I? No, I should have warded on him. I should have warded on him. Well, I'll just use the Vogati and hope for the best. I don't like how I played this. And he's dead. Ha ha ha! Oh, no, wait, that still counts as five uses, doesn't it? No. That was Astra, but... Ugh. No, it only counted as one. Thank God. Thank God. All right, now he's in no danger. Hmm, maybe should have forged hit on this, huh? Something to think about, but we are real. We're doing it. I don't give a fuck. I regret everything. And the game rewards me, as usual. Oh no, I, I, I actually can't do anything about this unless I... Oh no, I can, I can. Here's what I do. Shove, miss. Smite and Ebony. Who can now move in and mess this guy up, something fierce. The question is, it's probably a lot smarter to kill this guy, huh? I mean, on paper, this is definitely the right move. Tormod, I should have actually just smited Tormod, because then he could have killed this guy, and that would have been a better move, and I am just not playing my best. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Oh, my gosh. Crits everywhere. Was that really necessary, Nephany? My, the experience gain in this, this game is so bad. It's just so bad. Now, if I use the wind... He still does, he does too much. He should, in theory, attack Tormod. Uh, once I put him in front, because I don't want to have Mist attacked, obviously. Let's turn on the animations. Or turn off the animations, rather. And I'll put him right there. Now Mist is safe. No, he goes after Astrid. Fair enough. Fair enough. That hurt a lot. Please don't do that anymore. Please, good sir. Yeah, Stefan does as Stefan does. Not really that worried about him, to be honest. Yeah, for this exact reason, in fact. Okay, so far so good. Enough of the reinforcements! What do you think this is, Birthright? Come on, now. Let's see here. 
Yes, he did switch to his Steel Axe. That's kind of what I thought, because he was doing a lot of damage. Tormod, not a very good Mage Killer at all. Unless I can leave him at one. If I can do that, I definitely will, but I don't think it should be possible. No, everybody is too strong. Jill should be okay for a few rounds. Hmm. I mean, she would be, but I'd rather... Now, isn't the move actually to hit this guy with Jill and then kill with Astrid? Yeah, I think it is. Let's do that. If I use this, do I have to? Yeah, I still have to use the PPU no matter what, so let's just use the Iron Lance. Woo! Not bad, Jill! I don't want her to get attacked by that guy because I can just use Marcia. There's absolutely no reason not to heal first. Let's have Mordecai do some stuff. I'll use Mordecai plus Braum. Not enough. Mordecai plus Astrid, though. That actually is a kill, so I can rethink this just a little bit. Nephany can take on this guy. No, why not? Why not, Nephany? Why not? Well, she kills this guy at any rate. And there's our level up. Let's have a good one. Strength, skill, speed, defense. Ah, <sighs> Does my heart good. Does my heart good. Oh, yes, and that mage had the gamble skill. It's not a very useful skill. It halves your hit but doubles your crit. Issue, of course, being half the hit, which is a pretty big risk. Now, was this map C's or defeat boss? Because I wasn't actually paying any attention. It should be C's. Yeah, it's C's. So I do need to move Ike. At a somewhat reasonable pace. I still have the Regal Sword. Am I really going to be using it? Maybe. I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. My gosh, these mages just did not bring their glasses. Haven't hit anything all day. Tormod can fry this guy. No, he can't. <laughs> Tormod. So bad. Yeah, I want to give Tormod experience. Just because he's kind of fun to use, I guess. And he eventually becomes good, but not right now. Good lord, no. Absolutely not. Let's just toast him. I don't really need to worry about my fire rank. It's basically irrelevant, so yeah. I'm not too worried. And now we can get him closer to the front. Let's see. How many of these guys can I have Marcia draw and not worry about it? My guess would be all of them. If I really had to guess, I would say so, but it's a little bit sketchy, I guess. Also, I didn't heal, which was probably a mistake. But I can do that pretty easily. On the next turn, that is to say. Volk's gonna carry on. Let's equip that. And drop off Tormod. And just move in, honestly. <laughs> just move in. It's Marcia, come on now. Let's not even pretend for a second like she's in any danger. May as well have Stefan near the front. No reason not to, really. And there we go. Theoretically, Tormod should be pretty good against these armors coming up here. And I know what you're thinking. Why didn't you have Marcia attack that uh, mage on enemy phase? If the answer to that is because I am not very good. Okay, God. We get it. I was going to have her share, but I guess not. The, the real reason I didn't want to kill the mage on enemy phase, though, is because... I want to give the experience to other people. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I was gonna have Tormod do this whole thing, but I guess not. Good God, Marcia. There's the thief already, wow. Well, it's not gonna matter. I don't know that they would actually open up this area, would they? Because that would be kind of bad. That would be terrible, in fact, but if I really, really was that worried about it, I could simply send Marcia right through here. Um, obviously... There'd be some complications with that. 
So maybe that's not the best move. Wait, hold up. Halberdiers are armored? Really? Why? That's so strange to me. I didn't... I never knew that. Huh. Oh, there goes my controller. No, do not wait. Don't wait. Oh, hi. Hello. How you doing? I guess there are uh, spawns in the reinforcement zone. Or reinforcements in the spawns. Good God. It's one in the morning. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Let's get Astrid back, though, at any rate. Oh, that's some nice experience. I should be able to... Do I even, do I even need to shove Nephany? Yeah, I actually do. So let's shove Nephany. I kind of want to smite Volk, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It'll help me get to those treasures a little bit faster at any rate. Probably should have shoved Ike, but that's fine. I think Nephany, yeah, she doubles. I thought so. Which is kind of bad, to be honest, because I really want to give other people experience. But I guess that's just how it works. Yeah, you got to pull your own weight. And it just feels like some of them, so many of my guys are just not pulling their own weight. But Nephany, yeah, she's not one of them. She's been good the entire time. It's just she's under leveled. That's really her only thing. Which, with stats like hers, it doesn't really matter. She'd be level one. It doesn't matter. If her stats are that good, that's all that matters. Is there any way I can... No, I can't because of the way walls work in this game. Oh, unfortunate. Actually, I can, but... The question then becomes, does Tormat die? And the answer to that may be yes. Does he even kill, first of all? So he has 15 power. So he only deals 9 with that, and that's not very good. He deals 11 with that, and that would be enough. They have 31 avoid. No, that should be fine. Nope, no, 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 no. Work with me. There we go. Go ahead and take that. And that should put him low enough for Tormont to easily pick up the kill. And it also gives Jill a nice weapon to be using here. I don't really want to deal with this guy, though. Hello. Move Jill there. This is probably such a bad move. <laughs> I think it should be fine. I think it should be just fine. There we go, Torbot. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, at the very least, he gets a decent amount of experience for anything he does. So there's that, I guess. Ooh, Stefan's looking a little bit lower than I had realized. That's not very good. This guy doesn't one-shot Torbot or anything crazy, so it's, it should be fine, I guess. Do I want to send Marcia right through the middle? I could. I absolutely could. Where's this guy? How far can he move? I can Kanto into his range. Which is probably a good idea. Yeah, I'll do that. So if I kill this guy, Tormod is now completely safe. And obviously Marcia is not going to let me down. She has not been letting me down ever, really. So it's not something I'm really concerned with. I could draw on this guy, but they're kind of charging me anyway, so I don't think it matters. What is Mist's Physic range? It is not <laughs> very good. I can't even heal Marcia from there, so I may as well go all in, I guess. Jeez, I didn't want to turn off the range. Come on, now. Do I have any vulnerabilities by chance? Ike has one, but that's... Nope. There we go. And now Stefan can heal up a little bit as well because he's getting a little bit lower than I would like. There we go. Miss Physic Rage is just not all that impressive, but it's not going to really matter once I can promote her. Tormod should double this guy, right? Actually, I doubt it. He only has 9 speed, to be honest. 7 damage! And as I thought, he doesn't double. That's not the worst thing, but... It's a little disappointing, I won't even lie. It's a little bit disappointing. So 
So where? No, that thief is going straight for the treasure. How would you stop him? Like, no joke. How would you stop him? That's just not right. I think Marcia still can catch him, actually. I mean, she can, but then there's the whole Deb Dan thing. Hmm, now that's a puzzler. Wow, that's really strict. It's a lot more strict than I would have imagined. 